How's it going? Today I'll be showing you how to use tuples in Rust. So tuples are basically just a bunch of variables in one collection or one sort of space and they are defined like this. You can type down let and then the name of your tuple, I'll call mine tap1 equal to parentheses. Now inside here you write your uh, values comma separated. As an example, we can write down 20, 25, 30, and 35. And that's how you declare a tuple of just integers. So you can access the values of the tuple using a dot. So for example, if we print line, and we want to print out just say 30, we can do this by typing in tup1 dot 2. So the index starts at 0, so it goes 0, 1, 2, 3. So printing out tap 1.2 will print out 30. Let's give it a go. We'll run this one. And we see 30. Now tuples can uh, store values of multiple different types. So you can, so you can change this uh, to store just say an integer and then a string. Maybe then you want to store a, um, a float 3.4 and a boolean, false. Now that works. So now to print out just say the boolean, we can put down 3. We can now try and run this and we see how it works. Now tuples can also store tuples as members. So you can have nested tuples in a tuple. As an example, for the fifth element, we can put in a tuple, tuple of 1, 4, and 7. Now to access these elements when you're printing out or doing whatever you're doing, um, well first off we'll just access number 4, so element number 4 of this tuple, which is the nested tuple. Now to access one of these elements, you need to wrap the previous access inside parentheses. And then you use dot here. So you're accessing this tuple like that. From there, you're then saying dot and then two to access seven, for example. So again, we say zero, one, two, access two, it's seven. Let's try and run this and see how we go. And we get seven. So another use for tuples is called destructing assignment. So this means we can basically declare multiple variables at once using tuples following the same fashion. So I'll show with an example. Um, we'll make a new tuple here, a shorter one, with three values, for example, 45, 6.7, and a string such as computer. All right, so now if you wanna extract all these three values inside this tuple and put them inside three separate variables, we can do this. We can type out let's A, B, and C equal to tuple one. So now we can print out the value of a, b, and c, and we'll see how we go. So a is, then pass in a here, and do the same for the other three, the other two. All right, let's see how this goes. And we see we get a is 45, b is 6.7, and c is computer. So that works. And that is how you might use tuples in the Rust programming language. Thank you for watching. See you later.